Okay, this is a combined report of the Standing Committee on Construction and the Continental Representative of the Americas, in part because uh, a lot of the work that we did this year uh, was together. And uh, we just like to call this from Lisbon to Zoom. Next one, Jose Francisco. Want to cover briefly uh, on an introduction, our metrics, which are both for the past year as well as for the next five years. Uh, go into, uh, let's talk about civil engineering, which is the, uh, the prime webinar series uh, that was completed in, in uh, the year 2020 and comments. Next one. Basically, the uh, Committee on Construction is uh, sponsored by the Institute of Civil Engineers of the Colegio de Ingenieros de Mensores de Puerto Rico. What is the Committee on Construction? Uh, the Committee on Construction deals with many areas related to construction, not only engineering, uh, but also construction uh, practices, uh, management systems, and the prevention of corruption in the construction industry. Next one. These are our metrics for the uh, year 2020. We had a total of 18 conferences uh, and no other uh, activity. And we're projecting for next year 18, going up to 20 uh, conferences. Uh, and, and we do hope that uh, this year we will be more successful in including the coverage of uh, Europe and Africa. We were only able to have three conferences, did not have uh, too much response there, neither from, uh, from the two continents. So most of them were, were focused on Latin America, even though we had uh, prepared conferences both in English and Spanish. Next one. Uh, let's talk about civil engineering. I think it's, uh, it was very successful. I, I do have to say that not only were we successful in having uh, up to 130 attendees in some of the webinars, but we also uh, was able to, with the effort of uh, Pito Fenich, uh, we, we, uh, we were all able and he was able to to include and get uh, Bolivia, Honduras, and I hope I don't forget another one, uh, national members to uh, initiate their own webinar series in addition to involving the uh, organizations of engineering students of Latin America. So I think that is very important, especially with the uh, uh, students uh, being involved. Next one. The, uh, as I said, uh, we're primarily in Spanish, but also in English. And uh, this year we're gonna try a bigger effort in getting uh, more English uh, targeted for Africa and Europe. But we do need the support of uh, the organizations. Towards the end, Eki was um, making also, uh, uh, promoting the, uh, the webinars, but because of the, uh, very small participation, we, we discontinued the, uh, uh, the series in English, but hopefully this year we will be able to proceed with both. Next one. Next one, San Francisco. Sorry. Uh, but I think that the, uh, the, the COVID really made it, uh, you know, made it possible to get uh, a lot of interest on, on these webinars. Uh, actually, I uh, participated in a lot of webinars from um, from Mexico, and there were some from Panama also. So this, this is a means of you know, really moving into the future, uh, doing the webinars, doing meetings. Uh, in a way, full meetings can be done uh, with more participation, more than we've had today but they can be more, more active. Uh, and it also reduces costs for the, for the organizations to participate in these meetings. Next one. The, uh, the important thing is that we were able to get a lot of uh, professionals to volunteer 
their efforts in, um, in, in making these conferences, they were all free of charge, which is, I think, uh, very interesting that we're able to move uh, that way in the future. We may be looking at some that are related to continuing education, but we'll have to see a mechanism to be able to get some of the money so that the certifications can be given to those uh, attending the conferences. Next one. Next one. Uh, it, the, the format really promoted a lot of discussions. We limited the uh, presentation time uh, on, the, uh, on the various conferences and it was, the transmission was done on Zoom, but also through YouTube. There were two conferences that we have over 100 uh, attendees and 100 was a limitation on the, um, on the Zoom uh, uh, arrangements that we have and the balance uh, moved to YouTube that we're able to watch that. I must say that all of the conferences are on the webpage of the uh, World Council of Civil Engineers, so they can be watched uh, anytime anybody wants to. Next one. They, uh, there were two different formats. Uh, one was uh, with a major presentation, 30 to 40 minutes, uh, the main pre presentation, and then open for dialogue and discussion uh, for the rest of about an hour and a half uh, and trying to limit uh, each intervention to five minutes, which uh, becomes a major challenge. The other approach was to have one hour of, of, various, uh, of various presenters on the same topic that was, was looked at, for example, showing how different countries were reacting some, to some of these uh, some of these uh, issues in engineering. And then one hour for the questions and interactions by the participants. Next one. Uh, we had uh, all these countries, 17 countries uh, that participated uh, in, the, uh, in the conferences. I, I think that we got a, a pretty good coverage of uh, the Americas and a little bit of uh, India, I mean, uh, Africa and Europe. Next one. Here's a list of the, uh, of the 18 uh, webinars that, that we gave. It gives you the titles and it gives you who the speaker was in each one of them. Next one. And you know, it has some dates uh, in it. And as you see, some of them are on a Monday and a Tuesday. And the Mondays were primarily the Latin America sessions and Tuesday were the one for Europe and um, in Africa. Next one. And as you can see, there's a wide variety of topics in engineering. Next one. And uh, for example, you can see this last one that are what efforts are being done in different countries to fight corruption. And uh, various countries were, were represented uh, in, in this process. Uh, so we did get some very good uh, different approach from different countries, including the students. Next one. The, uh, I, I, I think that it, it has helped uh, for us to update the uh, Latin America directory of both the uh, organizations as well as members. The preparation of invitations uh, was sent out and that was uh, fairly successful. And we do want to change that a little bit uh, for next year to make it more, more efficient. Next one. The, uh, in, in this approach, uh, Peter was able to develop a number of, uh, of logos. They were also, he was also able to do the thumbnail images for YouTube and even developing a trailer to start in the future advertising future conferences. Next one. 
for for next for this year, we we want to do generate some other kinds of events, move to other topics to include uh, the the uh, automatic time converter for for registration, and also to include a summary of the speaker's cur uh, curriculum in the agendas uh, to be circulated. Next one. Okay. Uh, this is uh, one of the first uh, activities we're going to have uh, in this year. Uh, it's interesting. It's uh, a project, uh, a tunnel connection in uh, Colombia. Uh, that is a very interesting uh, uh, project. Next one. And the same thing with YouTube. We have to continue working there. Uh, and trying to have five to 10 minute capsules of the various webinars that are done. Next one. And uh, this is uh, sort of a logo with some of the invitations for the conferences that are being used. Next one. The, the thing that we also want to promote this to for the various uh, national members to utilize these uh, conference that are recorded in YouTube for their own use for their membership. Next one. And basically uh, some of our information, uh, we don't have in, in all the languages, but at least we're trying to move forward and give uh, the example that we want to, to move into other languages. Next one. And, and as I said, uh, we, we do want, we need to get more, more effects in, in having uh, each of the uh, speakers send their presentations ahead of time and also put the presentations by themselves uh, on the uh, website. We also want to make it available for the standing committees. The standing committee of water uh, did make use uh, in a couple of uh, webinars in our project. So it's, it's interesting that uh, the other standing committees know that there's availability to also uh, provide conferences uh, on their particular work, uh, but promoting the work of the, uh, of the World Council of Civil Engineers. Next one. Next one, the last one. Basically, uh, this is uh, an effort uh, where Tita Fenish has done uh, an awful lot of hard work uh, for this process, including the the working the uh, the Zoom, the uh, putting together the uh, process for having the conferences, myself and also Jose Francisco was able to do quite a bit of um, support, including sometimes being at midnight uh, up in uh, Madrid uh, to be able to have the uh, YouTube signal. And with that, we. Uh, finish this summary uh, of the work, which we believe it's a way to go on on future activities by the World Council of Engineers. If there are any questions, both Tita and I are here to be able to respond to them. Okay, thank you very much, Emilio. There, uh, are there any comments, any questions? Peter, please. Yes, I. Uh, greetings, everyone. I, I'm sorry, you, Peter. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I forgot to say that, that I, you're I just have want some to closing. Say, yes, I, I just want to say thanks to all all the ones who has participated in this initiative, and especially Jose Francisco, Emilio Coron, uh, Alfonso Gonzalez, who who helped me all the year with this uh, initiative and all the speakers. There are 18 different speakers I have to thank for. So I invite you to continue participating in this initiative and invite the other standing committees to join to us. And everyone in the World Council of Civil Engineers to join to the uh, YouTube uh, channel to subscribe and, and participate. 
And if you have any, any paper or, or keynote to present, so we are glad to, to add to the, to the calendar. We are, a, a, we, we are improving for these years. That's all. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you, Mr. President.